Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we learn about how to rename columns, how to add, and then how to delete from columns. So we already have our data frame here, which is this. So it's about just five values. We have this our data sheet. So we'll be learning how to manipulate them. So first of all, you have to first using data frame invoke this so that you can have access to the package data frames then we are going to call it df and then the name of the file we're going to read read table and then the new data that we have csv so now we have access to the file now it has been stored inside this df as a data frame so after that you'll be learning how to Manipulate it like adding a new column to it, how to rename a column, like change the name, and how to add rules to it in the upcoming tutorials. Okay, so the speed at which this one will download depends on how fast the stem is, as well as the amount of data. I think somebody's making so much noise in my place. Okay. That, that is good that the noise has gone okay so like in order to manipulate it first of all show columns then df right so we want to know the number of columns that we have so we have this column so we want to change the one of the columns violent crime to dangerous crimes sorry for this so we want to change it so one of the ways of doing this is to go with this df right there are several ways so one of them is to use rename rename bank and then the name of the column we have you can either use the column name or column number so using the column name just go with this as we already learned df which is the, the data frame itself or where you have stored the data frame and then you go with we learned that a column is just semi a column is a colon right so a colon and then the name so the name is violent it takes two arguments the, that is the current name and then the the current name and then the new name that you want so we name it that dangerous crime right so it should be watchful that it actually matches because if that don't match it's violent crime so be watchful that it actually matches so violent crime violent crime and then dangerous crimes so after that See that has changed it perfectly for us. So now the violent crimes which we had already is no more violent crimes but dangerous crimes. So that is one of the ways you can rename a file. So if if you rename a column, so if you go again with two columns and yet see that it has been changed for us. So that's one of the ways you can rename a column. So let's see how you can add a column to it. Now to add a column to it, there are several ways. One of the ways to just go straight away with this df. And then the number of the name of the column that you want to put there. So let's say we want to make it as news, right? And then we are equating it to a data array. So we are building the data array. So the, so the, in a previous tutorial or one of the tutorials, we learn how to create data arrays. So like this, yeah, there are three methods. So or four methods. So this is one of the ways using the data macro, and then you create the, the array. So you put it inside this bracket and then your information or your data goes here. So we'll be adding news. So let's say the news came at uh, one o'clock, another news came at three, four, another news came at let's say ten o'clock, and another news came at let's say five o'clock, right? So these are the news that it came. So based on this, then we are just putting it as an example. So if I go straight away like this. It's going to add this it's going to form an array data array of these values that we have and then equate it into this column and create a column for us so if i go with df so that has created a new column for us which is called news so that's one of the ways you can do it so the sentence is the name of it and then you move on to this okay so let's see that's one of the ways you can do it so we can even add another one to it you can create another one like bills 
and then you are going to make in it amount of money you are paying hundred dollars fifty ten dollars and then let's say five hundred five fifty thousand we're still going to create another one for us that has created a new bills for us so that's one of the ways you can do it and there is even another way of even manipulating the colon for example if you want to manipulate this column of let's say making it a news right you want to manipulate it there's another way you can manipulate it easily by doing it like this let's say you want to add two to it that's added two to it so that if i go back to it so all the numbers have changed for us so that's added two to them so that's one of the ways you can also do it okay so let's move on and see how we can delete the we can delete the column So we have two new columns and we want to delete this news. We don't like it, we want to delete it. So one of the ways of deleting it is to use delete and then a bank. And then delete also takes only one argument. It takes the name of the file or the data frame and then the name of the file or the column rather that you want. It can be the column number, the column name. So you can even make it like this. So I want to delete six. It's going to delete it for me. Right, that is one of the ways you can do it. So that has deleted the six for us, so there's no more six. Right, I can also use the name to it. Let's say we want to delete bills, or we want to delete bills. Okay, I can use like here, bills, and then that deleted bills for us. So if I go show columns, df. So that bills is no more there so that's one of the ways you can delete a file so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contributions you can put it inside the question session so that everybody can benefit and then please don't forget to subscribe and stay blessed